Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today we're going to take a look at how to fix your microphone um, so that it works with Microsoft Teams. And um, there's various different ways to do this. So I'm going to start off with the easy troubleshooting guides um, and then move into the more complex ways to make sure that your microphone is up and running with Microsoft Teams. Um, if you find this useful, you know what to do. And with all that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are just uh, in Microsoft Teams. And the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is um, the settings inside Microsoft Teams to make sure that you have all of that stuff set up and ready to go. So what we're gonna do is just set up a meeting. This is the easiest way I find to get into the settings. And I'm gonna turn all that um, camera and microphone off for now and just click join. Okay, this sets up a very standard uh, channel meeting and it's just going to connect us in. Um, once we are in the meeting, um, so as you can see, I am using uh, the new meeting experience. So everything pops out into its own um, little window here. So with uh, the meeting started and you're inside a meeting, uh, the easiest thing to do is actually come over to the more actions tab and click on device settings. From here, you'll want to make sure that you have the correct audio device selected. Okay, so for me, I have uh, this one here, um, but also uh, you have the microphone section and the speaker section along with a camera at the bottom. Okay, so when it comes to microphone, this is the section that you're going to want to make sure that you have um, set up correctly. So you know, make sure that Microsoft Teams is actually picking up the correct microphone. So we're just going to, from a drop down menu, select. You can see that I have um, four different options available, right? So I have my desktop uh, Rode NT USB Mini, okay, which is the main microphone that I use for all of these recordings. I have my Logitech Streamcam um, microphone, which is the built in microphone to this webcam. Um, we have, uh, again, another microphone that I don't use anymore, um, and then a NDI audio line in um, from OBS software. So um, for me, personally I'm either going to be using the first option or the second option so if you have um, webcams with built-in microphones you'll want to make sure that um, Microsoft Teams isn't just utilizing that and it's using something else you have actually physically plugged in as a microphone or if you're using a laptop that has a built-in microphone that particular microphone is selected okay so uh, this is the section that basically allows you to dictate um, which microphone to be using so I'm just going to switch on the Logitech stream camera right okay the next thing to notice here is that we have it muted so when I unmute this that is when it will start to see these uh, purple symbols just appear in here which means that this microphone is actually picking up the audio as expected okay and obviously uh, when you mute yourself um, it removes the audio completely so with if you have the correct microphone um, selected here and um, you're unmuted, you know, and you're seeing some purple lines, um, that then in theory, it's not the microphone that's the problem. It potentially might actually be the speakers, okay? So the main thing you wanna point out here is you, you have the correct microphone and that you're seeing those purple bars. Now, if you're not seeing those purple bars here, then actually, you know, there might be a different issue causing um, the Microsoft Teams not to pick up a signal from your microphone. Okay, so I'll cover those off now. Okay, so once we have um, made sure that we have everything selected as we want it to be, um, we can just close these down and I'm just going to end the meeting. Okay, so now we are done with Microsoft Teams temporarily. What I'm able to do here is actually just pop down to our desktop. From our desktop, we can head over to the little Windows Start button Give that a click and then click on settings. This will bring up your settings section for Windows itself. And we want to go over to the privacy section. Okay, so we're going to click privacy. And then on the left hand side here, we're going to navigate over to the microphone. And then from the microphone, uh, the very first option here, you want to click on change. And this will give you a little pop up box and you want to make sure that this is toggled on. Okay. Um, with that on, the next section you want to focus in on is uh, allow apps to access your microphone. That has to be toggled on. Okay. And then underneath there, you'll see all of the, um, mic I guess, which Microsoft Store apps can access microphones. So you'll look down this list and you'll make sure that um, 
everything that you like to be using a microphone is toggled as on. Um, and then at the bottom here is allow desktop apps to access your microphone and that has to be toggled on as well. And this is the section that you will find Microsoft Teams, okay? So if this is toggled on for you and you're not seeing Microsoft Teams app here, then actually you first of all need to actually activate the microphone in Microsoft Teams as we first discussed. If however this is toggled on and you're seeing Microsoft Teams down here, um, then there's a different issue going on, okay? So hopefully if you run through all that, that might solve your problem. If it, if it did, fantastic, then um, yeah, you know what to do with this video and you can, you can leave, that's perfectly fine. If, however, uh, that did not fix your problem, um, the next thing to do is actually head over to the search function at the bottom here and bring up our control panel. I'm gonna bring up the control panel um, and then what we're going to do is in the top right hand side search here, we're just going to search for sounds um, and then we want uh, da, 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 manage audio devices just here. Okay, under sound. Okay, and then this section will basically now bring up uh, all of your kind of speakers and your recording, etc. So we want to hit the recording tab. And then you'll see all of your microphones in this section as well. So you can see here that my Logitech stream cam is my default, okay? But it might be that actually you want to use this Rode um, NT-USB Mini as my default microphone, in which case I'd have to click this one here and set it as a default, okay? And then that should hopefully resolve your problem. If after doing that, you're still having difficulties with your microphone, the next thing to do is actually right click here and go to properties, okay? And then go to levels and make sure that um, actually this is up towards the 100% uh, microphone level. If it's on zero, and that'll be another reason why your audio is not coming through as expected. So you want to just play around with this level until you get to a nice comfortable microphone level um, for yourself. And all this is toggled on as well off okay um, but with all of those things done you should be able to now access your microphone in Microsoft Teams and have uh, Microsoft Teams picking up um, the audio from your microphone okay and then so you can just run another test and um, so we can just pull up another meeting uh, and basically go to join now um, wait for this to load up the meeting Okay, and then the same as before, we're going to go to more actions, we're going to go to device settings, and we're going to make sure that we're on that Logitech stream cam, um, and we're going to unmute it, and we should start seeing these purple lines appear here. Um, and with all of that done, and those purple lines appearing, you should be good to go, and everybody should be able to hear your microphone in a call. Um, once all that's done, and you've tested it, and you're okay, you can just end that, um, and that is it. Hopefully, guys, you found this useful if you did you know what to do and i will catch you guys in the next video